What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're back at it with more Into the Flames gameplay. We're back on the Canton County map, the free roam. We're going to be free roaming the map. We're going to be seeing what we can get into. So uh, we're at station four and I, I think we're just going to jump around. I really kind of think on this particular map, it's, uh, it's best to jump around from uh, station to station, depending on what kind of calls you get. So let's hang out and uh, see what kind of calls we get. And I'm probably going to get rid of this tiller too. We'll put the tower ladder back in. All right, there we go. Canton County uh, tower ladder. I really hope we can take this one out today. I've been wanting to take it out. We've had some viewer requests to take it out. Had all intentions of taking it out the other day, and we never did really need it. So uh, we're going to try to make a point of doing something with it today. Maybe. We'll see. Hopefully so. Let's go ahead and get these doors uh, raised up here. Looks like a dreary, dreary day in Canton County today. Oh, there's a hospital over there, too. I've never noticed that. Looking forward to the point, uh, getting to the point where you can have more patient interaction in the game. I just love that. I love the patient interaction when you do EMS runs and uh, stuff like that. There's, like, so much you could do with that. There's so many different directions you could go. I've said that a million times uh before is uh i think that's a really really cool aspect to it. it adds a lot of challenge to it too apart from uh like the firefighting putting water on a fire all right so while we hang out and wait i wanted to take a quick look at uh the gear customization that you can do which is actually pretty cool so if you hit i you can go into the the uh customization menu and uh you can change a few things you know you can change the look of your face your head See, uh, we'll go back to who we had before. And uh, you can change your outfit color, of course. Oh, we just got a call. We just got a call. What are we going to go with? Um, let's go back with that one. Let's go with the brown and orange. That's kind of different. You don't see that a lot. So let's go ahead and hop out of here. Uh, you can do back customization too real fast. We can do that. You can change the color of your tank. Uh, head, you can change your helmet. Uh, you can change the, uh, uh, the plate, the shield on the front. Uh, so a lot of stuff we can do. Hopefully, we can take a little bit closer look at that later. Go ahead and exit out of that and see what we got here. Let's hit tab, pull up emergencies, and it says uh, automated fire alarm uh, to Griffin Drive, box 315. All right, so now that we know that, we need to figure out exactly where that is at because I do not know. Now it's snowing. It went from lightning to snowing. It's crazy weather. It's about like weather where I live. Uh, it could be... Uh, 80 degrees and you need the AC at night and or during the day and then at night you have to cut the heat on. Like we're in that really weird time for weather in the panhandle right now. All right, let's go to, uh, I don't know, whatever this station is down here. Is that two or three? I, I can't ever remember. I need to write this down. Uh, let's see, go to fire stations. Uh, we'll try to, let's see, teleport the station. Where are we? Are we there? Uh, yes, we are. We guessed. Uh, we guessed right. Yeah, I think two would be easier. Easier to get there. Okay, sweet. So, um, we're gonna change the tanker up. We're gonna change the tanker up. I like the suggestion I had a viewer make the other day about getting rid of the big, uh, big uh, mama tanker here and going one of the smaller, more utility tankers. So that's what we're going to do. Let's pull up tab. Go to uh, fire stations. Go to fire station two, and we got tanker three. So we want to remove truck tanker three. Get him out of here. You're gone. You're out of here. And let's see. Hit tab again. Uh, fire stations, station two, and go spawn truck. And what should we do? I think tanker one this time. We'll do one this time. I think we did two last time, right? Maybe. I don't know where he went, though. Where's he at? Yeah, there he is. Okay, cool. So, uh, let's go back to the map and see. We do have a hydrant there, so that is good at least. We could do that. Let's go ahead and hop in the engine. And we'll get rolling. Probably about to turn this down a little bit once again. Alright, uh, engine's running. Uh, lights. Headlights. Give her some gas. Give her some gases. Let's get out of here. Do a little uh, siren action too here in a second if I can. All right, we're rolling. We're heading towards the fire. It looks like it's going to be a residential fire of some kind. So we'll see. There we go. All right, there it is on the map. That's nice. Now I have an idea of where we're going. I don't think we've ever been out this way before. 
this is uh this is really cool i like this map because it gives you a lot of variation as far as like what you can see and uh the type of fires you can oh no it's actually it's not a residential fire it doesn't look like it uh what is, what is going on oh yeah it does look like a residential fire i just don't know what's going on with that all right let's hit uh let's kill that let's hit j and let's hop out and go ahead and turn the hydro on because i don't want to run all the way back and have to hit it and then go get into gear tools hydrant wrench and all right hydrant should be on up in driver's seat let's uh head on down here we might be able to bring the tower ladder to this one actually yeah this is well involved fire here it really just is so let's park this guy right here we'll go past it <coughs> let's hop out and uh, let's see about bringing the tower ladder we'll get the tower ladder out here so we need to go uh tab fire stations go to station four uh tower ladder tower ladder nice all right Get the engine going. Lights. Headlights. This is going to take a minute. This is going to take a minute for sure to get down there. I do believe. Calling in the big guns. All right. Now we're headed the right way. I can tell right now one thing that really kind of jacks me up that we're going to have to get used to is the uh, mini-map rotates. Instead of staying oriented north, it rotates. So that really, uh, that really throws my navigational skills off on a map that I'm not uh, completely familiar with, so. All right, now we're finally cooking once again by station three. This uh, particular piece of equipment is gonna have like a 20 minute response time. It's gonna be a long, long time. This felt like we needed it though. We'll be there shortly. I see it on the map, so that's half the battle. Oh, turn, turn. Yeah, keyboard steering is not my forte. It really just isn't. It really just isn't. Let's go ahead and kill that. Let's kill that and... Let's ease in here. Yeah, we're not gonna make it. Man, this thing is a beast. She is a beast. All right, finally, we finally roll up in the neighborhood. So the black, um, the black hydrant I see up there on the mini map. Oh, we're running all over the hose, but it'll be all right. I guess that's one that's out of service. Maybe I'm assuming that's what that means is that it's out of service. All right, let's park this guy. I think right here in the front, maybe right there. Okay, we're good. Let's get her set up. Get her set up, guys. Let's get our air on. Let's go to gear, air pack. And we'll exit all this out. Go to the other side to do the outriggers. So we got a fire alarm going in there. We'll have to figure out how to kill that thing ASAP, or that would get really annoying fast. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we may be listening to that for a while. I hope not. It looks like it's mostly on the second floor. So if we've got our supply going, we need to feed the, uh, we need to feed this uh, tower ladder. So we need to get like an, a supply line off of him. Okay, get this. And I'm guessing we'll go to the discharge on this one because it's a little different than emerging wire. I mean, it's basically the same concept, but how it's presented is a little differently. So, a little different. All right, we've got that. I think we're good on all that. Let's go back over here and get some tools. Uh, let's go to gear. Let's go to partner saw. And did we get it? Yes, we did. All right, close you out. Go cut this garage door open. It looks like it's mostly just upstairs. I think it is. All right, let's cut this door open. Get access to the garage. 
it looks like we'll check out the bottom floor so we know we know from the game itself that we don't have to worry about people being in here at least i don't think so i haven't run across that so we don't have to worry about anyone trapped or any kind of victims or anything like that so that's good all right let's go up here back gear partner saw exit out and let's hop in the bucket let's see if we can actually get some water on this thing use the buckets there we go we got the view got a little wonky there for a split second i don't know why we're better now okay and uh we need to extend with q and toggle the water pipe i'm not sure what that's going to do we don't have any water what do we got to do to get some water going here ladder pipe is enabled use the bucket that's cool that you can get in and out of the bucket like that i like that option a whole lot yeah we can't why do we not have any water i'm wondering um do we have any water at all is my next question because i don't know let's go uh let's see let's grab an attack line Yes, we do. We just don't have water on the tower ladder for whatever reason. We don't have water on that. All right, well, let's make an entry to the first floor. Let's get our air going and our flashlights, and let's crouch down. Oh, there's gas in here. What the? What is that? What is that all about? Um. Okay, let's back out then, because I don't know what that's about. There's green gas in there. Someone's done blowing it up. And I don't mean, um, I don't mean, well, I guess kind of explosively. I guess it would be kind of explosive. Either way, someone is blowing it up in the house, and there is a cloud of green gas. So that means we're going to need a hazmat unit. Right? We're going to need a hazmat unit here. Who is going to do the hazmat? I guess we'll find out. Let's uh, let's get a little bit of water on this, though, first, before we go in. Love how it flares out of the window when you, uh, when you hit it. There we go. Well, it looks like we've knocked it down, so that's good. Let's go ahead and get this window, too. Nice. Yeah, I think we've had a uh, good effect on knocking it down, so that's good. That's always a plus. Yeah, I see the green gas coming out. We're lucky we didn't die. Like, what is up with that? I was really hoping to get in there and kill that alarm. Let's see, what does it look, what does it look like back here? Ah, yeah, we've got a lot of green gas back here. What are they doing? So we got we've got a downstairs that's fully involved in the back here. Uh yeah, let's get a uh let's get a hazmat unit, I guess. I guess we have to get a rescue unit. Alright, let's go to tab fire stations. Um who could we anchor engine, quint tanker, tower, uh brush, uh rescue two engine Rescue 2. Um, I guess 4B. I guess we take uh, the rescue unit from 4B. The quack. I called it a Mac the other day, but it's actually a quack. Either way, it's really nice. I like it. Let's get the engine going. And the headlights. Now we got it. Okay. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. Keep going. All right, so we're going to go down and then to the left, to the left, to the left. All right, and then we'll go to the right. Kind of memorized it, so we're good. I wonder what's going on with the house with the toxic fumes in it. Like, is that like the Breaking Bad house? Is that like Jesse's house? Because if you watch Breaking Bad, you know they had some crazy stuff up in there. My, uh, <laughs> one of the craziest scenes I think I remember from that show. I only watched it one time. Only why we, uh, Mary and I watched the whole thing. We went through the whole thing, binge watched it over a week or two. 
uh, was the bathtub scene in Jesse's house. I won't go into detail on that, but uh, yeah, that was crazy. That was, it, it was a good show. Don't get me wrong. I love that show. It was a really, really well done show. But it's like, it, it is, Game of Thrones is the same way. It's exactly the same way. I love Game of Thrones. I didn't watch the last season. I've heard enough about it. I don't want to watch the last season. But uh, Game of Thrones, we love. We binge watched it too. But those shows like Game of Thrones and Breaking Bad, like for us, we have to psych ourselves up to watch it because there's so much uh, like <laughs> just darkness in those shows. I don't mean literal darkness. I mean just the feeling and the mood and the tone. It's like a real killjoy. If you've had a great day and, uh, you know, you go home, oh, yeah, let's see uh, a dozen people get their heads lopped off in, uh, in Game of Thrones. You know, that's exactly how I want to finish my day off. You know, a nice feel, a feel-good episode like that. <laughs> I can't do it. I have to be in the right state of mind. I don't, Mary and I were talking uh, not that long ago about uh, Game of Thrones. We got all these Game of Thrones DVD DVDs. And I was like, you know, do you think we'll ever watch those again? And we may, we honestly may not. We may not. It, it's such, it's such a, uh, where's the hazmat stuff? I know what's on here. Oh, right, room, sledgehammer. I know what's on here. It's such a killjoy. They're portable pond, hazmat. They got the leak kit. Where is the D content? There we go. All right. Nice. Let's get him set up. Man, this thing is huge. You have like a circus in this thing. There we go. Drop you down. And let's get into our decon suit. And we'll take care of the barrel first. And then um, we'll see about the fire. We'll finish it up. It's going to be a lot long. These episodes turn out to be a lot longer than what I ever like anticipate. Damn, this looks like something out of the movie Outbreak with uh, Dustin Hoffman. All right, let's see. I think we're gonna go around back. The reason being is because there's more green gas back there. So the bathroom must be closer to the back than it is the front. Oh yeah, someone has blown it up big time in there. Uh, and I think it's on the first floor too. I think it's back here. Oh, it's locked. Wouldn't that figure, damn it. Okay, we'll be back. All right, tools, Halligan. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back and break the door down. And yeah, it figures the back door would be locked. It figures. All right, come on, get it. Get it, get it. Come on. I know you can do this. I've done this before, so... There we go. Nice. All right, let's uh, let's just drop the Halligan here. And uh, let's crouch down because you don't know what's going on with the heat. Let's go to first person. Man, that is some potent green gas in here. There it is. Yes, sir. There it is. We found it. We got it. Let's stand up and let's interact. All right, let's get back out of first person now. I think we're okay. They've got a barrel of some kind of suspect material in their house. They could be, it could be, it could be like Breaking Bad. I'm telling you, it could very well be. I think they were by in the end when they got really big. They were buying stuff by the barrel. This dude is a boss too, carrying that barrel by itself, like by himself. Like he's having no problems with. It. <laughs> This guy's been hitting the gym. So I think we just take it to the truck, right? Oh, that beeping's killing me. I wish we could kill that. We'll be dreaming about that beeping tonight. All right, I think we just take it to the truck, right? We just bring it over here. Yes, nice. Okay, let's go decon. Let's get the green fart cloud off of us. We'll be good to go. Nice. All right, let's go back over here to the truck. We'll change, uh, change our gear. Uh, change uniform, sweets, and well, we need to get air too. Never mind. Gear, air pack. Now we're good. It looks like there's more green gas in there, though. Like, is it not? Is it not done? 
I, I'm wondering. I don't know. Is there more than one barrel in there? Or has it just got to clear out? It looks like it's still... Damn, guys. I don't know. You know what? Let's do this. Let's get a ladder. Let's try a ladder out. Tools. Uh, I think a 14-foot ladder will work for us. And... I wonder if we can make entry into one of these windows here. Maybe not. Doesn't look like doesn't look like it likes it right there. How do we do this? No, that's not what we need. Let's pick you back up. There we go. Okay, nice. All right. Get our mask going. Oh, we can't get in. Watch down. There we go. Uh, yeah, we got green clouds in here. That's absolutely going to kill us. Can we get out the window? No, we can't. Let's get out. Go. <laughs> Go, dude. We need to get out. Oh, we just jumped out. All right. Um, I guess we're not done with a hazmat, maybe. I thought we were. I thought it was only one barrel, but... All right. Well, we'll get back into hazmat gear. Let's go back inside. See what else is going on here. We need, we really need to find this alarm. Like that's like priority number one. If we can, I don't know if you can turn alarms off and on in game or not. Let me know in the comments guys. Let me know. Damn, I'm completely lost. All right, there's the back door. I, I wonder if we just need to vent it or something like I, I really, I don't know. Oh, what's up with that? Man, it looks really good in there. Maybe it's just uh, a matter of venting everything because I don't I don't see another barrel in here Let's grab this howl again. I know it's gonna be out here in the back And let's see if this works There we go. Nice. You know my favorite thing to do guys my favorite thing. Oh, yeah, that seems like that's really helping I just need to ventilate captain Sweet that did it. Yeah, that got rid of it. Just bust in those windows there. Here we go. Here's the alarm. Please, please, please turn off. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, we did it. We got it. Go ahead and get these windows too. May as well bust all of them while we're at it. Oh, there's still some gas. There's still some gases in here. Why wow, we got gas floating around. Alright, well, uh, let's go upstairs. Let's see what it looks like. Door is, uh, it's blocked. Really? Um, okay. There we go. Alright, well, let's, um, how can we get the ladder down? Well, it went away. Let's, uh, let's move it down to those other windows since the door's blocked. There you go, tools. Uh, tools, 14 foot ladder. There we go. Well, damn it, guys. I, next time we're going to actually use the tower ladder. I'm going to have to research that a little bit. I'm sure some of y'all can help me out with that. Hopefully. Y'all, y'all have been great about it. Y'all are like, uh,. <laughs> I consult y'all. I, I consult you guys every time I run into a problem. Like, uh, yeah, this isn't working for me. So what would you guys do? Like, how do we fix that? All right, let's get out of this. Let's go back to gear. Uh, change uniform. Gear air pack. And we'll exit out of this. All right, we're going to have to get this fire knocked out because I'm about to go get my kids from school in a little bit. So I'm doing this video a little bit uh, later today. I'm kind of under the gun to get it done. Let's get this fire knocked out real fast. I, I don't think we have to worry about uh, gas anymore. Go to first person here. Yeah, this doesn't look too bad, though. It looks like it might be all up in the... Uh, in the attic. It may very well be. Like we might have to pull the ceiling down.
So far, so good. Put this window here. Hopefully I won't regret that. Nice. Okay, we got it. Let's vent the room. There's going to be some fires in here. Yes, there is. Let's crouch down. Let's hit it. All right, I think we got that room. Sweet. Let's get over here. Oh, it's locked. No, I wonder. I wonder how can we drop. Yes, you can drop the. I love that. I love this feature right here. Just the fact that we can drop the hose inside and be able to come back and pick it up. Like, that's awesome. I absolutely love that. That is great. <laughs> it really just is. Let's grab an axe. Tools, axe. We'll tear some stuff up. Damn, this has gotten like way longer than I ever thought it would be. It really just is. So you can drop your stuff inside like, you know, I'll be honest on Immersion YC, I don't ever like to drop stuff because I know I'll never find it again. It's going to be gone. It's, it's going to be gone. It's just one of the quirks. It, it is what it is. Um, you know, and so you can't drop. You can't drop anything inside the house. At least every time I've done it, I've always had extremely bad luck finding it. Like if I drop the hose or the nozzle or something, it's gone. It's just gone. You're going to have to get another one. So this is really nice. I like this a lot. All right, let's get our uh, light going here so we can see. I I think we're good. Damn, I can't see Jack. It is so dark in here. Uh, yeah, I think we're clear. And we don't. I mean, the windows are already busted out. We don't have a good way we can vent that any more than what it already is. I think it's because it's in the ceiling. It's because it's in the ceiling. All right, let's uh, drop you here and let's get our axe. I'm wondering, since this door is blocked and we... We've used a crazy amount of time to put this fire out. Three days of like past. <laughs> this has had like three... There's another barrel. What? Wow. Okay, well, let's uh, go back to hazmat. Go back to hazmat and get it done. Damn. This is really involved. This is like super involved. Okay, so note self, you can have more than one barrel of hazmat material at a scene. I was thinking uh, just one, like I've done it before. I've done one other hazmat call. I think there's just one. Yeah, it's in the attic. That's why we got all that stuff going on. Let's go up. It's not the best ladder placement, but it works. Yeah, there it is. Can we just can we go through the door? No, I don't think we can. We're going to have to manhandle this thing down the uh, down the ladder. Yeah, we are nice. Well, at least we had a shortcut. Oh, it takes some days to get it over there, though, dude. Come on, we got to go. This is just he just glides along. <laughs> it's almost like doing a moonwalk. All right, let's decon. Sweet. Let's go back. And gear back up. This, man, this dude has earned his paycheck today. Has he not? Like, he has been amazing. All right. Air pack. Close all you out. All right. Back upstairs. We'll take the shortcut here. Oh, you know what? I We better get the hook. We better get a hook because we're going to have to pull the, uh, we're gonna have to pull the ceiling. No doubt on that. Let's go ahead and take it. Hook. There we go. You earn your paycheck when you're a one-man firefighting. No, actually, we can't go that way because we can't cross over. Never mind. Go inside the... Use the stairs. Now we can. Sweet. All right. And we got our hose up here. I love that. Man, I love that. I love just being able to drop your stuff wherever and knowing that uh, you can come back and get it and you don't have to worry about it. Oh, 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 oh. Let's not pull a chief. This isn't, uh, this isn't Chief O'Connell. This dude will die. There we go. We found it now. Nice. Go out here, drop our hook. Oh, that is so nice. That is so nice. I love that. 
It's little things. It's little things that make a difference. I love that. Vent the room. Let's, uh, there's no way to vent this room. Like, how do they expect me to vent the room when there's no way to vent it? I, I don't know. Like, there's no windows. You can't vent that. All right, we got to get this room, too. All right, uh, let's drop you. Grab our hook. Come on, there we go. All right, let's go back. There we go. There she is. Got fires all in the attic. Pull it. That's why it's so dark in here. That would explain it, right? That would explain everything. Got fires in the attic. You say the roof is on fire. Put it down. There we go. We got it. Um, this other little adjoining room here. I think we got that. Yeah. All right. Let's drop you down. Grab our hose. There we go. Nice. 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 Uh, room is vented. Like, what do you want me to do? It tells me to vent the room, but... Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Dang. This is so involved. Oops. Uh, drop you down. Let's grab the hook again because I don't know where else the fire is at. Like, I really just don't know. Oh, we're searching. We're searching and I'm seeing smoke, but I don't know. Like, maybe it's in here. No, we've already got that. Okay. All this has been busted out. Is there anything downstairs? Because I didn't really... I just initially thought there's nothing downstairs, but I'm wondering now. Is there something... Uh, is it in the basement? I'm wondering. No. Where is this smoke coming from? Damn, it is dark down here. Holy crap. I can't... I don't think I can pull this. Like... Not letting me. Basement fires freak me out. I've made that very clear. Like, those are some of the worst. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We may wind up having to call this one good because I don't know what's going on. Like, I, I see smoke. It's not letting me pull anything. I can't... There we go. Yeah, it's kind of going through the motion, but I can't actually do anything. So where is this coming from? Like, everything has been... Everything's been vented. Damn, that is dark as hell. That's like pitch black. That is like the darkest it could ever get with smoke and uh, no lights. Um, I don't know, guys. I don't know, but I do know we're 45 minutes into this call. It has been a hellacious busy call. Like, we've had a lot of stuff to do on this... I can't, I can't find anything else. I really just can't. Let's go down here and see. Uh, damn, yeah, I, I just, I don't know. I, I'm going to say it's just residual smoke. It hasn't, it doesn't say uh, if it's under control. No, it still says it's dispatched. I don't know what else we got to do to call this good. Like, I'm at a complete and total loss, guys. Damn, they got a nice big full-size basement. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think, let's, you know, uh, let's go ahead and pull this ceiling. Let's get out of that. Let's go upstairs. Let's go back upstairs. Is there any way to remove the blockage? That would be my next question is like, can you remove the blockage? Since that door right there, we don't have access. I don't want to have to go out and uh, go through the window, you know. The smoke's down here though. Like, I really just... Yeah, I don't see anything. I, I don't see anything. I don't know where it's at. I think we're going to call this one good, guys. I, I'm going to say it's residual smoke. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments what you think. It's not clearing it, but I don't see any other fires anywhere. There's no fires in the entire house, guys. Um, so we're going to call it good. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, 
ring that bell leave me a comment let me know what you think love hearing from you guys love all of you and with all that said we'll catch you in canton county next time peace